So tell me, when did you first notice Randis was becoming an addict? Well, it all started a while back in math class when one day she just randomly decided to ask the teacher if she could have extra homework. Alright, so we've got some inequalities to practice with. So take one, pass it back. Just one? Just one page? Can, can we have some more? More homework? What? Can, what? Let's, just, are you kidding? Just like three more pages. I, 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 I need more pages. I'm out of your mind. I need more homework. I'll, I'll get some more for you. Thank you. Thank you. More pages. Now, in some classes that might be acceptable, but in math, it's everybody's least favorite subject. I mean, why would you want extra homework in there? Automatically, I could tell something was wrong. So tell me, what was it like weaning Randis off of her math addiction problem? It was a very difficult process. She was, it was so severe when she walked into my office that, in fact, I had to use several treatments to even get her on the path to higher learning. In mathematics, she was so addicted that she counted how many things were on my desk, how many books were on the shelves. She counted everything. She counted how many letters were in my name and what number each letter was. It was this severe. And I knew we had to take drastic measures. So, we first started with English therapy. Finally, we get some headphones. I'm waiting on this all day. I wanted math class. <laughs> English therapy focuses her attention on English and reading and grammar, but all she did was count the letters in each word. So we were forced to take drastic measures. We we gave her shock therapy. And we gave her large numbers to add and multiply in her head, and then we set the level on, on the shock therapy instrument. And it, it worked. It was very successful. And her case was just, we don't usually use shock therapy, but for her, it was, it was necessary. Did it get worse? Progressively. <laughs> At first it was just, you know, simple stuff, little bitty things. She would ask to do my problems every once in a while. And then she would steal my book, do all my homework for me, beg other kids for their homework. It was ridiculous. My name is Randis Thomas and I used to suffer from math addiction. I gotta have math! I gotta have math! Where's my math? 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 Two plus two equals four times two equals four. How many years have you been uh, free from math addiction? Um, I haven't been free f for years. I, I fell off the bandwagon a couple of months ago. I more. Where is it? Where is it? Math. Math. I like math. <laughs> math is fun. Math. Math. Ooh. Math. Math. Cosine. But since then, I've been clean, and uh, you know, I try. I go to my my MA meetings, my math addiction meetings, every month, and we make sure that it's hard sometimes. But I realize that in order for me to move on in life, I have to do what's best for everyone else around me as well as for myself. It started. Back in, you know, kind of like uh, my, my early years of high school, I started realizing that numbers were everywhere. And since it was everywhere, why not use them? Uh, I used big numbers, small numbers. If it was a number and it could be counted and multiplied, added, subtracted, I used it. <laughs> God, it felt good. It, it was just, uh, it was really hard at first. Uh, I wanted to focus my attention on something other than math, and it was really hard to do that. Uh, 
it was beginning to be a constant pain counting everything you saw and then multiplying it by the times you saw it. It was just, it was addicting. It was the thrill of learning new numbers, reaching new heights. It was powerful and I loved it. But I realized that in order for me to succeed in life that I had to gain control of my addiction. It was hurting everyone. I mean, I couldn't even carry on a normal conversation because I was too busy counting or multiplying or adding. And, uh, but with the shock treatments and the English therapy, uh, you know, I can I gained control of that, and uh, you know, I feel better. You know, sometimes I still want to to count, but I control myself. It was really hard, but you know, what can I say? It was an addiction. And I had to break it. Heroin addiction, and you have alcohol addiction, but math addiction is far worse than any of those. You can take the alcohol away, you can take the heroin away, but you can't take the numbers.